that. My senses tell me it's time to eat, and it's no different for a great white shark. Supposedly, they can sniff out a drop of blood in a million gallons of water, feel the electrical impulses of a dying fish a mile away, see you in pitch blackness, and hear your heart pounding inside your chest. We're talking about some super shark senses, and we're about to put them to the test. So what I want to know is if a great white can really hear a heart beating in a person's chest, is the shark more likely to attack if that heart is panicked and beating wildly? Oh yeah, there's a big one down there. Some experts believe that if you can slow your heart rate down enough, you just may avoid being attacked. What I have here is an actual recorded heartbeat. One slow and one fast. I'm gonna take them down one at a time and see how the sharks react. Okay, first up is the slow heartbeat. I'll need to keep my own heart rate down so as not to interfere with the test. There's one below me right now. He doesn't seem too interested. Let's see if he comes back around. Here he comes. He seemed somewhat interested, but veered away. All right, this is the slow heartbeat. He didn't attack it, but he was sure interested. Now we're gonna try with a faster, more panicky heartbeat. Kinda like mine right now. It's hard to tell whether that's my racing heartbeat or the recording. Right away, he seems interested. He came up pretty close the first time around. Let's see what he does next. He's swimming off to my right side. When a great white circles around you, you can see and feel the intent in his movements. He's turned again. He came close, but he didn't attack it. Perhaps his senses are telling him that it's not prey after all. It looks like he's gonna make one more pass. He's coming in fast. He hit the cage. It's time for me to get out of the water. Woo! Well, clearly, he wasn't all that interested in the slow heartbeat. He's a lot more interested in the extremely rapid heartbeat. You've heard that expression, the smell of fear? Well, this is clearly a case of the sound of fear. So if you want to survive in shark-infested waters, whether you're dealing with a great white or any other kind of shark, it might be a good idea to stay as calm as you can. It's a lot easier said than done. <laughs>